Peabody here with another serving of instant history. The Wayback Machine's all warmed up, Mr. Peabody. Excellent, Chairman. Then we're off to a town named St. Joseph, Missouri. The year is 1860, and the historical event is the start of a Pony Express. In the twinkling of an eye, the Wayback had deposited us inside the Pony Express office. We arrived in the middle of a hot debate. Now, look, you claim you'll deliver mail to Sacramento, right? Right, but then deliver my message. What you're asking is impossible. Either you're going to deliver it, or I'm going to sue you for false advertising. Why can't you deliver his message, mister? Because he read it on a boulder, that's why. Hmm. Dear Fargo, we'll soon have the business signed Wells. But offhand, sir, I'd say that boulder weighs at least half a ton. Yep, and getting it to Sacramento is going to be a problem. Decidedly so. The strongest horse in the stable was saddled, and the boulder, with much effort, was lashed to a rider's back. Think you can manage it, Charlie? I'll, I'll sure give it a try, boss. Charlie did try. He urged his valiant steed forward. The horse took one step, and the Pony Express stable had a new seller. Isn't there anything you can do to help them, Mr. Peabody? Of course there is, Sherman. Sir, get me one stick of dynamite. Five minutes later, the express office shook with a resounding explosion. That boulder down there is nothing but a mess of pebbles. Exactly. Now, all you have to do is transport the pebbles to Sacramento and then reassemble them into the boulder again. What a brilliant idea. Yes, isn't it? That afternoon, 50 Pony Express riders, each carrying a pebble, set out for California. However, one pebble still remained. It's this one with a period on it. We're plumb out of riders, and the message won't be complete without a period. And that is how Sherman and I found ourselves in the employ of the Pony Express. What we didn't know was that a tribe of Cherokee Indians was in the employ of Mr. Wells. Indian chief see them riders down there? Me want them, them ambushed. Indian understand? Sure, we understand. You want those two guys knocked off. Right. Me pay them heap big wampum. Oh, knock off that wampum, Jazz. What we want is cash, cold, hard cash. Sherman and I entered Intercepted Pass, which was the only route to Sacramento. The perfect spot for an ambush was where the pass came to its narrowest point. What engine got him in sack? Rocks? No, these are Charlie Barnett records. Cherokee? Yeah, crazy, huh? You really big? Well, what I'm gonna do now is dump them over the cliff and bury those two alive. It was a diabolical plan, and it would have succeeded, except that intercepted pass was infested with downdraft and upwinds. The records were poured out, but instead of cascading down, were caught by the winds and sent sailing up. Look up there, Mr. Peabody. What is it? That, Sherman, is the big disc jockey show in the sky. We navigated the pass without further incident and stopped at a small creek to water our horse. Now what engine do? This time we're taking no chances. See these? Hmm, tiny arrows. They're not arrows. They're 33 and a third long playing needles dipped in poison. That'll stop those two for sure. Did you hear that, Sherman? I sure did. What is it, Mr. Peabody? Indians with long playing needles, Sherman. I'd know that sound anywhere. Quick, pretend we're going to take a nap. Well, my boy, I think 40 winks would be appropriate. <sighs> and how, Mr. Peabody? I'm tired. We got out the blankets, but instead of sleeping beneath them, we bundled them up to look as though we were beneath them. And after crawling off into the brush, we waited for the attack. It wasn't long in coming. Of course, Mr. Wells and the Indian chief were in for a disappointment. I'll be darned. They tricked us. Yeah, and what's more, look at those blankets. They're still alive. You mean the needles didn't kill the blankets? Right. I don't understand. Maybe they were poisoned. I dipped them myself. Are you sure? Positive. Taste one. Yeah, all right. After dark, Sherman and I retrieved our horse and continued our journey. Two weeks later in Sacramento, our pebble was added to the boulder. This is a proud day for us. The mail got through, and now let's celebrate. Uh, we'd like to, sir, but Sherman and I have another job to do. Another job? Yes, yeah, Sherman, I was just handed this onion with a message on it. I promised we'd see that it got to Chicago. But gee, Mr. Peabody... Now, 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 Sherman, we assisted the Pony Express. The least we can do is to help Western Onion. Yeah.